Well, Stretch is starting off with the Greninja. Man, a lot of secondary ZSS's. Uh, back to back. Uh, yeah, Sensei going ZSS uh, is usually a snake main, but has been trying to take Zero Suit pretty seriously. Um, I like the idea of Greninja versus a character like Zero Suit because you can just kind of keep up with the pace. Oh, God. Oh. All right. I mean, could, could you not have just have smashed that? I mean, this is not going well for Stretch right now. Not every day when you deal 20 damage and your opponent does 120 damage. All right, Sensei gonna be taking the first stock. Less than 50 damage dealt. Stretch has his work cut out for him. Oh, but evening it up pretty quickly there. Um, honestly, any any lead and any damage that uh, Sensei did, Stretch was like, I don't care. I, I know what's happening. I he was just like, nice opening there. Uh, care to see my retort? So, bring it to an even game. Uh, that that might do uh, some, some mental damage there, too. Starting off strong, starting off cocky, maybe. And then he'd be like, oh, that was cute. Um, I'll make it even now, and now I'm winning. So, like, everything is falling apart, sort of thing. Damage, oh my. Like, it's still honestly, like, pretty even in the sense of, like, they could just, like, either one could just kill the other. It, at, when the percentages are this high, it doesn't really matter too much. Especially with the kind of setups that Greninja, like, okay, going to finally Valen to grab, and not going to be it, even if you're dying, dying bomb? They, it's still DI in, right? Anyway, yep, forward throw gonna finally do it. Sensei has definitely the tools to even this up and does it. Very nice catching with that up B. Can't just go into her like that. Oh man, more ZSS? Yep, more secondary ZSS. Ooh, ooh! Hey man, I respect it. Ooh, um, okay, big read. Yeah. Little stretch there. Big read from uh, Sensei, honestly, <laughs> just going well in there. Uh, all right, trying to make sure he makes it to the ground, I guess. Okay. Okay. You know, Sensei's been doing a really good job of bringing this back. He's gotta, he's gotta be careful though. One or two more hits, and that's going to be it, man. This has been such a silly match. Okay. Oh. No donos this time. <laughs> this keeps doing it. Uh, get, oh my gosh. It's getting close. It's getting scary. Their heart box shift was nuts. You know, shout outs to Taco Farrell. Thank you for Taco the Farrell? Twitch Prime. Much yeah, love. Twitch Prime, Thank you for the support. Remember, guys, it is September, uh, so if you're a first-time sub or I think any type of sub, 
Uh, yeah, if you're you not can cancel sub. your Twitch Prime and resub for an app off. It's, uh, yeah. Well, not your Twitch Prime, but your other subs. No, I mean, you can cancel your regular sub and then resub. Yeah. With September, apparently. Oh All my right. goodness. Side B gonna seal it out. Did you know she has two side Bs? I didn't. She can angle it up so that it, like, finishes with a hitbox above her. That is crazy. Yeah. What? It's kind of really annoying. Did that happen this match? No. I just wanted okay. to bring it up. Go, yeah, go, go look at it on Ultimate Frame Data. It's wild. I'm about to. I didn't know that this was a thing. I always got hit by the, the forward one. Oh, it still hits it in front. It just ends with a hitbox on top. I, I don't know uh, how it's worse or better. Yeah, sorry for not really, for for talking about something not super related to what has happened here, but yeah, it just uh, it kind of blew my mind. I was like, what? Why? No, um, UBL Soul, I just checked it. It's definitely just normal versus the up version. And yeah, that up version is crazy. It's like the same frame data in terms of like the first hit. Same stuff. startup frame data, yeah. but it has more end lag, the up version. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nuts though. All right, I think we're gonna see. Nope, we're sticking to the characters. So all we're doing is changing stage. Find out where we're going in a moment. That's crazy. You're just like, yo, I'm committing to an extra like five frames. So I can hit you. You're gonna hit bubble. All right. Uh, they just wanted to remove the platforms. We're going to flat battlefields. Not to be confused with small battlefields. Man, we're really just okay. So. Uh, Really, really strong lead here for Stretch. Uh, that that offstage uh, tussle definitely worked out in his favor. Man, <laughs> getting attacked with that donation. Uh, uh. That was an action donation. Ooh, good reads, good reads. So how do you punish? How do you jump in on a character? I think they keep landing in front of each other with like all the extra end lag and neither of them are able to get like hard punishes because they're not expecting it. And I don't know if this is like because they're both playing secondary so they have like the match been experience and how it works with them. But it's just really funny to me that that's happened like three times now. Yo, sick parry though. Not able to punish it because of CSS down there. Right. Good restraint, no shadow sneak. I'm sure something was hoping for that. A decent TI from uh from stretch there. Oh wow. <laughs> Just cut the electricity. Yeah. Uh he wanted to try and make something happen there, but then just had to like come back to the stage. You can see, like, the hurtbox shifting is really, like, more than anyone else, like, it's giving Stretch the most trouble. Like, how often, uh, Sensei, how often ZSS just, like, makes yourself tiny. Oh, man, that forward tilt almost doing it. Yeah, this might... That Ooh. forward tilt doing it, though. Yeah. Very old placed. All right. Kind of a still a big position here for Stretch. Uh, since they already on like near kill percent on his last stock, while Stretch is kind of chilling. I like these big uh, these big words that Sensei makes sometimes with the up but like they keep happening at like the most not essential moments. <sighs> and that down tilt uh, is gonna take it for Stretch very nice. Red and win. Let's uh, see how this ended. I want to see that first stock again. It's kind of what set everything in motion. All right, so basically Stretch got him off stage using a dash attack. He air dodged out oh, and then he jumped but wasn't anticipating the uh, that, stage fight. Yeah, he, him not being able to tech that. And it was on the side of the stage where like that's a bit of a... Oh, well, this is FD. Never mind. 
I mean, it's still, uh, it's still knocking directly down. Yeah, no, I was going to talk about the cubby on the left side of Battlefield. <laughs> Not the cubby. Yeah, so we'll be right back. doesn't apply. I have some water and a kettle. I'm going to make some tea. Okay. You know, it's starting to hurt, so I'll be back in just a moment. I might do the same. Why you let Greninja go to FD? That is an interesting question there, Ubel Soul. Not really sure. Alright. Oh, are we picking characters or changing stage? Nope, just, I guess, changing stage. Alright, yeah, going to PS2. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting uh, game here because, like, they've been... Like, I guess this game, like, well, no, Battlefield and FD have the same, like, stage size. More space could help because, uh, like, they're just such mobile characters. Uh, stretch starting off uh, pretty solid here. Ooh, 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 solid turning into strong. Hasn't taken a hit yet. 30 seconds without taking a hit. Finally gonna eat an up B, but that's really not that big of a deal, honestly. And that, uh oh, okay. All right, I mean, as long as you know the the height where you're able to do that down there, then uh, more power to you. It is a very interesting position because like your opponent might not think they have to go punish you, because like, oh, they might just die, and also you don't want to go that low yourself. So it's like one of those things where it's like. Unsafe, but kind of safe still. Anyway, up air gonna be taking uh, Sensei off the top and uh, ooh, 40 damage. That's nothing really. So, super strong lead now by Stretch. Doing a great job. Ooh, I love this patience. He went for something and then realized it wasn't going to like execute the exact same way. So, he didn't try to, he didn't try to force it. I, I really admire that kind of play and, and wish more people would as well. Ooh, but but uh, Sensei making a strong statement there. I really like that. Okay, the, the silly slow dare. Okay. <sighs> All right, so even though Stretch started off super strong, Sensei was able to turn this around. What, like, what an large stock lead that Stretch had. Now we have. Uh, a near in, a near even game. Scratch that, an even game on the last stock here. Uh, this is game three. Let's see where we're, what we're gonna end up. It's gonna happen here. You can definitely tell that Sensei's not letting uh, Stretch do the same stuff that he was able to do, get, get like hit after hit after hit in that first stock. Adjusting to the movement, but Stretch began to uh, mix it up a little bit and uh, try and pull away with like a small lead here. Oh, that platform getting in the way. Although, I mean, that, um, that dash attack really wouldn't have like connect. I don't know. Oh, getting put off stage. It's a really good position for Sensei. If he's able to keep this edge guard going, he can rack up a lot of damage or just get a strong hit going. Yeah, this edge guard honestly hasn't stopped yet. All right, finally gonna return to stage. Ooh, down tilt up smash. Not gonna connect at this percent, I guess. Oh, parry up B. Oh my, what a deep fair. Very nice play by Sensei. 
uh, stuffing the jump and taking the game with it. Be still. Be still. Uh, the song is Venus Lighthouse of Golden Sun. But yeah, wow, that was I. That was really deep. A uh, really good play there. That was like, that's the kind of play where it's just like, okay, I need to make something happen here. I really need to. And, you know, it, it really paid off. And yeah, the first stock was just kind of, uh, well, his first kill was the, uh, the sign that it was going to happen again. Ooh. Oh, the right. shuriken hit the ledge? I want to see that again. Did he back off or did it just straight up? Yeah, just straight up. Interesting. 